I think so. I think uh, he's obviously feeling good about himself um, after having a, re a really strong game. So uh, um, when he's when he's confident with the puck and he's carrying the puck, that's when he's at his best. And you know, I think he was back at that last game, and uh, you know, I expect he's going to do that again tomorrow night. So um, you know, we need him to be going to be uh, a good team, and um, it was a really good game for him. What did the what have you fed up? How have you fed up? He's talked about how much the relationship with you has meant to him in getting it. What, how is it? What has it meant to you? I guess it means a lot, honestly. Uh, you know, he's become a really close friend of mine on it and off the ice. He's fun to fun to be around, away from the rink. But uh, he's a guy that's always got a smile on his face, as you guys know. And um, you know, even when things aren't going well, he, he's a pretty happy guy on the ice. So uh, keeps guys loose and energetic. Um, you know, it's easy. It would have been easy for him to kind of sulk and, and you know be in a bad mood, which generally affects the mood of the whole dressing room. And he's not that type of kid. He just wants to go out there and help the team win. Uh, he wants to be, you know, he wants to be a great player in this league. So um, uh, I think we have full confidence that he can be that, and uh, he's going to continue to grow as a player and, and continue to get better. Did you see the Fisher tweeted out yesterday? Did you guys? <laughs> yeah, that was that pretty goals? pretty funny. Yeah, uh, I got a good kick out of that one. The, no one, I, I think, has played with more players on a line than you in your two years here. Uh, it, Connor and Mitch both saying that the key about this team is everybody can fit in somewhere. Is that, is that a real strength, not only for you, but for the whole group? I think it is. I think um, you know, in this league now, you need four lines that can play. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's not an easy game. It's 82 games in a season. and um, you know, Obviously, you want to get your best guys on the ice as much as possible, but you need four lines that can play the game. You don't want any, any line to be a liability. and. Uh, not comfortable putting them on the ice in any situation. And, um, and I think we got a lot of depth on this team, which is a good thing. Uh, and there's a lot of healthy competition that goes along with that. So, um, you know, we're going to continue to 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 work as a unit, no matter who's on our line, and um, try to get better every day. Can you speak to those interchangeable parts? Maybe when a guy like Marner is slumping, a guy like JVR is out, how the guys pick up the slack? Yeah. Uh, first of all, you know, hopefully James. Uh, you know, can get back soon. Um, I don't know the extent of the injury. I, I'm not really sure, but uh, obviously, if Leaves can jump in, Leaves had a uh, he's a great player. I mean, um, you know, on a lot of teams, he's probably in the lineup every night. And um, no, obviously, having that depth isn't a, uh, isn't a bad thing. So um, you know, he'll he'll fill fill in nicely. I think uh, you know, Mitch will move back up, and Leaves will jump in with us if he's playing, and uh, hopefully, we can have a good game.